All right, today we're going to install some V, some new Pro Products VT2 live wheel vents. Uh, these are pretty awesome things to have on your boat. They're simple, but they do they do save a lot of fish's lives. Let's put it that way, especially here in the South where it gets pretty hot in those live wheels. Uh, shows here it says cools live wheel temperatures, decrease dissolved oxygen, remove harmful metabolic gases. Catch and release. Fishing uh, sometimes comes with a catch. That's when your live wheel needs to live up to its name. Interval aeration is a good start, but when onboard power is already taxed by trolling, sonar, and more, the next step demands the VT2 name. The patent VT2 uh, is double trusted <coughs> to allow continuous uh, oxygen flow and provide an escape route for heat and metabolic gases. The result is a more balanced live well environment for when the last cast is the last thing on your mind. But yeah, these things are pretty simple to install. All you need is a 3 inch hole saw. You need a 5 16 wrench. Of course, you need a drill and some drill bits. Don't forget to get some trash bags and, or grocery bags to put in your live well to catch the, uh, the uh, shavings. So um, now we'll just go over to the live well and uh, get started on it. All right, so we're ready to put this thing in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to take some some measurements so we want to go ahead and get the width and we got 16 inches here for the width of this door so half of that would be eight inches and then we're going to take half of the door here which is going to be eight inches as well the only problem with that is it looks like it's going to be bringing it too close to this handle here or the the, the um what would you call that the latch so what we're going to do is we're going to move it back some we're going to keep the eight inches on the center on this side but we're just going to move it back away from that latch some so I think we're going to be good at seven inches instead of eight inches that'll give us plenty of clearance for this so we got our eight inch mark there all right seven inches we're gonna go ahead and get our bag set if we can that thing around. We might get a, I don't know if it's gonna be big enough yeah let's we'll do it with the trash bag long as the openings in the middle there we're gonna go ahead and draw drill a pilot hole on our seven inch mark right there Got our pilot hole there. Swap it out for the uh, hole saw. Come on. Now with this hole saw, let's find where that pilot hole go right there. Try to get it in that hole that we just drilled. All right, now the secret to cutting through this carpet is to put that hole saw blade in reverse. And we're gonna kinda saw it that way. If you don't do that, and you keep it going the, the, uh, the proper way, it'll end up grabbing and pulling that carpet. So we're gonna go in reverse. If I can keep that thing in there. Thing got a lock on it? Of course it doesn't. Why not 
don't have the option on this one. There we go, got it. All right, this sure does make a mess though, doesn't it? Pop that coupon out. And this should slip right on in there, just like that. Slide that in there just like that. And coming with the vent, you've got the hardware. Got some machine screws and, uh, and some locking nuts. You find a drill bit to match. They're not very big. Looks like an, an eighth. Hold it in place where you want it. You want the vents back and forward. That way when you're going down the down you can force that air in. to 964 hey Oh, it's catching on that carpet.
Getting our washers and our lock nuts. Two washers and two lock nuts. Or four actually. Four and four. Well, there's my five sixteenths wrench right there. Yeah, I'm on even screw. Oh. Open this thing up. Put our washers on. nuts in place. Always put the plastic to the outside. <clears throat> Swap out our bit for the uh, get a smaller tip. To do is we're going to hold the nut with the wrench and use this to tighten it up with. They're all about the same amount of distance on those screws, and I think we're good to go right there. That's it. There's one. All Thanks. right, on to the next one. I said we're going to go ahead and we know it's 16 inches wide, so we're going to find our 8 inch mark. That'll be the center of this one. Right there. And from the other one, like I said, we decided to move up and we're only going to go to the 7 inch mark. So I'll put the center right. There. See, we've got our we've got our trash bag set ready to catch shavings. Make sure we have that in there. Go ahead, go ahead and put our uh, pilot hole in. Take 
sure that's the right mark. That's it right there. I have to press quite a bit on this because there is there's quite a bit of metal right there. And we do. that set up. Now it's time for the hole saw. Where's a pothole right there? And right there. Got it. And it's a lot of shavings it makes. All right, I'm gonna pop the coupon out. All right, so we're gonna get our nine sixty fourth drill bit here. Get in there. Go ahead and set our our vent where it needs to be. Sucker up you like I said you want the you want the fins to you want the vents to open up front and back. You want to get that as center as we can. There. Looks good to me. Go ahead and drill our holes. Let's go ahead and get our, our bolts ready. So as we drill our holes we can put those bolts in there and it kind of hold it in place. Keep it from slipping on us. here straight through nuts and washers ready. You should have four washers and four locking nuts. Alright, we're good to go. Sucker up. Remember, it just shows how important it is to have that trash bag in there to catch those shavings because all those metal burrs and those little sharp things going in your pump can't be good. Let's go ahead and get our washer on. Put our locking nut with the plastic out. about the same distance out I think we're good to go now all we got to do is uh, vacuum it up and clean it up some and make sure we uh, put all our tools up don't lose them but uh, like I said that was pretty dang simple uh, pretty much anybody can do it it went in real smooth um, and that's all you need is your 3 inch hole saw 5 16 wrench I'll add that you need the uh, 964th uh, um, drill bit and uh, today I use uh, just a quarter inch uh, drill bit for the uh, pilot hole so oh, and make sure if you, if you bring a drill get some extra batteries because that hole saw it'll wear on those uh, drills 
I got your tape measure for uh, measurements. Like I said, uh, we couldn't do ours perfectly centered because how close it would have been to the uh, to the latch here. Um, and uh, like I said that's that's about it. Uh, let me know if you got any questions uh, about the install here. Uh, heck, if you want to ask about the the, the product itself. Uh, like I said, a buddy of mine's got them in his boat, and, and uh, down here in Texas, it gets pretty hot, and we haven't lost a fish to heat since he put them in. So uh, that's that's all the proof I need of them. So we're going to go ahead and put them in here. This is uh, my uh, 2000 uh, Triton TR-186, and uh, that black sure does look good in that maroon. But uh, until next time, uh, catch y'all later. Good enough.